so fucking precious when you smile. So yesterday marked the exciting launch of the All Things Wicked chapter for Dead by Daylight. It brings us the gnarled and grizzled form of the unknown. The newest killer very much delivered in a creepypasta style. Counter to the unknown, we also got Michaela's dear friend and fellow witch, Sable Ward. I'm sure most of you viewing this already have heard rundowns of this chapter before, but just in case, we will go through them quickly. The new killer, the unknown, is as on the box, unknown. Simply taking the shape that those who have bravely and stupidly gone looking for it thought it would take, it possesses the UVX parasite, which could be its main body. The parasite protrudes from the neck and fires projectiles that can bounce, and a fear of the survivors it hits. If a survivor is hit before the parasite pops, they are hindered for three seconds. If caught in the blast, they are weakened, and if caught in it while already weakened, they lose a health state, and the weakened duration is increased by six seconds. If they remove the state by staring down the unknown, maintaining line of sight, the unknown also creates up to four hallucinations they can teleport to. Survivors can dispel these, and they can be spawned faster by weakening survivors. The unknown's three teachable perks are unbound, uh, activating when any survivor gets injured, gain 5% haste for 10 seconds after vaulting. Unforeseen, when you kick a gen, gain undetectable and transfer your terror radius to the kicked gen. And undone, when a skill check is failed, gain a token. When kicking a gen, it regresses 1% per token instantly and blocks the generator for 1 second per token as well. On the other hand, Sable Ward found her way into the realm while searching for her vanished friend, Michaela Reed. She brings three teachables of her own into the fog. Invocation Weaving Spiders. In the basement, you can use the Ritual Circle for 120 seconds, which can be sped up by others helping. And when complete, it reduces the needed generator charges amongst all gens by 10. So you take one tenth of work needed off of every generator for the rest of the match. The survivor that started it enters the injured state and gains the broken effect until the end of the trial. Strength and Shadows. In the basement, you can heal without a med kit for 70% speed, and upon finishing your healing, you see the killer's aura for a short while. And Wicked. In the basement, you can unhook yourself. After unhooking yourself, you can see the killer's aura. While I'm most excited for the unknown, Sable is a lovely and likely really popular design for behavior. It is worth mentioning that we also get the Greenville map that features the cinema belonging to the same realm as the Garden of Joy. And it's nice to see the world expand uh, in Behavior's writing, even if it does come with double palette loops. I want to jump into my first games from stream to show you all my first reactions and moments. But really quick before that, I, I just wanted to talk about how the characters made me feel. I got about three hours of play in today. And I wanted to, you know, first reactions. The first and likely longer set of clips are of the unknown. I had a blast playing them. Some of that will be because of the novelty of it all, but more so, I honestly just adored the mind games and chase, as well as how strong the new unforeseen perk has been. Literally turning a lost game for me into a 4K. I know I'm probably in like a lower bracket, but that was really cool to see. I wouldn't be surprised if unforeseen gets nerfed somehow, somewhere. Playing the unknown kind of makes me feel like a much more dangerous version of Nemesis. You can hit a survivor with the UVX, go do whatever, since they can't remove it without coming close to you. So either you start the next interaction with that survivor a step ahead as they're already weakened, or maybe they have to go out of position to try and remove the effect early, and then you can get them. And all of this is before you even factor in the hallucinations and the teleports that you can do to them. Given how hallucinations spawn, they will naturally be the most dense where you are busiest chasing people. If survivors don't dispel them, you can use them to rapidly teleport every 25 seconds. It's useful in chase, it's useful in pressure, it's just useful. So, now onto the clips. I didn't. Oh, I didn't. <gasps> <coughs> I'm perkless! 
Ah. I need it down. I'm blowing it, so. Yeah, I don't like looking at them little toes, dude. Mm, come on, stand up. There it is. Ooh. We won't go up to the FK person, that's rude. That's two of you. Okay. No save, no save, no save, no save. We go fast. Oh. oh, why is it so loud? Okay, that's a commitment. Cheryl. Bye, Cheryl. We got one. That generator is about to pop in my face. Oh. Insane, dude. I'm gonna leave. I want a Mori. I brought it. I saw them. We're gonna pretend we didn't, okay? They could be huge. Cheryl, stop it! One. Go get Cheryl, please. I'm gonna go over here. Well, guess who feels extra not bad about it? Bring me Cheryl. I feel extra not bad about this. Let's go. That's actually improved since the PTV. Oh, you're so good. That was a bit generous, I'm not gonna lie to you. Anyways.
you're all dead. so fast. That's the best I'm ever gonna do. Oh! Fucking disgusting. Yeah, that was a mistake. They are not in the basement. <laughs> no. None of that. And out of spite, I'm gonna go kick that fucking thing. is gonna be nuts, dude. This A goose. So silly. Here. Finally a visual. We commit all the way. What a runner. I had a fucking Oh man, playing against this guy's nuts. Oh my goodness, that's unfair. Oh shit, never mind. Nice. Mm, they can have it. Oh, let's go. We got a big one. On the other side of the campfire, we have Sable Ward. I've really enjoyed her perks and finally getting to play as the best hex girl. I've, I've gotten value out of each perk so far, but to be honest, Wicked was only because of a really kind killer. The others were a little easier to get value from. Invocation doesn't seem to swing the game a lot, but was still super neat and honestly pretty fun to use, especially when I was able to help another Sable and cut that time down significantly. Strength and Shadows was a nice bonus to have, running into the basement, healing up. It's not bad. It's, it's like self-care used to be to me. I didn't play when it was super strong. And now, some Sable Clips. Let's get some value. All my friends on B-Real are at the gym, and I'm just fucking sitting here slamming pineapple juice and <laughs> playing Dead by Daylight. Come friend. I'm not stopping. <laughs> no! <laughs> the 
see how the gen looks, though. Yeah, there's the bar. That's kind of fun. Now I'm getting my ad up. Nope. Bye. I'm out of here. We simply aren't doing that. Hook lady. Cool. Help is on the way. Help made it. <gasps> Double time it. Hello. What do we got? You know how rare it is for me to get away from a chase? <laughs> I think I played that alright, though. Oh my god. Oh, we both mind game here. Let's go, let's go. You're a fucking baller. You're a baller. You're a star. I don't want to leave you behind. I'm not teabagging that demo. He was a very nice person. They were. Look at that. It's always a fucking mag, dude. Never come back. That fucking zesty little terrorist on our team is insane. Like, that's some of the wildest panic gameplay I've ever seen. Oh, uh... Double pallet, also crazy. Sorry, this time of day. You are not helping. Oh my god. I have been sold out. Me? What a shot, honestly. In fairness. Oh my god! In fairness, uh, Fang's not psychic. boss hello if you 
turn around, you might kill me. This has been such a weird... I'm going to have to assume that's an honest-to-God DC. Where are you? All right. We take the escape. Overall, honestly, I'm in love with this chapter. Only time will tell, though, if it will age really well or if diapers will be filled like Tools of Torment. Justified or not, however you feel about it, there were diapers filled. And basically, I'm going to be revisiting this in about a month after playing it a lot more and seeing how people feel about it because I'm really hoping this one lands. It's another great original killer, in my opinion. The survivor is cool. The perks are pretty neat. Uh... I just really enjoyed it. And if you made it this far, thank you so, so much. If you're interested, all of this footage was captured live on stream, which will be linked below if you want to give it a look. If you do, please also consider liking or subscribing. Thank you again, and take care of yourself.